There is confusion about reports of nuclear bullets that the Russian army had developed for a Russian machine gun years ago. I will explain very simple. The reports are meaningful because they challenge our knowledge of nuclear energy and physics. They are also meaningful because they claim that small projectiles of the size that a machine gun uses could cause a small nuclear explosion. A nuclear explosion is caused by the splitting of atoms. This is called fission. Fact is that uranium bullets have been used by the American army before. But only because uranium is so dense, not because it would explode with nuclear fission or as a so-called micronuke. The high density of an uranium projectile results in a higher kinetic impact and thus more destruction. There is even armor-piercing ammunition based on the use of uranium. So the short answer is that it is not possible to create a nuclear bomb small enough to fit in a machine gun and thus it is almost certain that there have never been micronukes in use by a machine gun anywhere. There were other claims about a substance called red mercury. It was claimed to be a chemical super explosive. An explosive so strong that it could trigger nuclear fission with small amounts of nuclear material. First of all this would allow for the construction of atomic bombs with less fissile material and less destructive force. Meaning less of the expensive fissile material would be required and the bombs would not be considered weapons of mass destruction. Secondly large amounts of chemical explosives are required for the ignition of an atomic bomb. With a super explosive this could be less further reducing the volume and weight of a nuclear bomb. Thirdly a super explosive could start the nuclear chain reaction with less than the often cited critical mass, which is not a fixed mass, but variable dependent on different factors. Uranium-233 for example has a 10 times lower critical mass of just 550 grams when in watery solution. But as far as my research brought me, red mercury is still a rumor today. Based on our fundamental knowledge of the elements, such a super explosive would not be possible. But there are a lot of things unknown in chemistry, and the super explosive, which is also unknown, might not be the chemical, but the nuclear fission type. Scientists are indeed looking for new chemical variants of radioactive substances called isomers, and for new materials, also super explosives. If the Russian army stumbled upon such a substance, they might have kept it secret. Nevertheless, physicists have been trying to find out if micronukes are feasible for power production for a long time. Micronukes would be an amazing energy source and enable ignition of nuclear fusion reactors for power production or propulsion of rockets. The energy efficient or cheap ignition of nuclear fission reactions is a new industry with at least 35 global companies racing to find out how to create tremendous amounts of energy to start nuclear fusion inside a reactor efficiently. Using nuclear fission or a micronuke for the ignition of fusion is one of the most basic three options. The other two are lasers and kinetic energy. But all of this is done with warehouse size machines. Each radioactive material has a critical mass. That means a minimum amount of the material is required to cause the nuclear chain reaction or nuclear explosion. But the critical mass can be lowered by use of explosives around the fissile material or theoretically by smashing the critical material into a target at so-called high hypersonic speeds around 9 km per second. This is just before the so-called entry speed realm at 25 times the speed of sound. It is also the detonation speed of explosives used in nuclear bombs. But the required amount of explosives is many kilograms and beyond what a projectile in a machine gun could provide. The required speed could work in space, but not within the dense atmosphere above ground on Earth. If or when scientists understand how to produce micronukes for energy production, propulsion or ammunition it would be a well-kept secret how it works. An exception might be the first economically working nuclear fusion power plant. This might be announced even if it worked with top secret micro fission. The cited sources are in the description. Thank you.